Hey, this is Bremster, and this is number 71 in my Sudoku problem series. This is a crop key problem by Riff Clown. Um, this one has been rated medium by the testers. So the goal on this one is to fully resolve box five. There is a link to the problem below where you can try this one out for yourself. And the way the rules on this one work is cell separated by a black dot must have a one to two ratio, or one must be double the other, and cell separated by a white dot must be consecutive. Um, so so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for a few seconds so you can pause the video to give this one a try for yourself, then I'll be back to explain how this one works. Okay, so I really like this one. There's a couple of fundamental concepts in this one um, that are important to solving it. So the first thing is, um, of course, to remember that you only need to resolve box five. So, but if we look at um, a lot of the cells in box five, all of those cells that I've highlighted are on black dots. Now we know that box five is going to contain all of the digits from one to nine, but there are three digits that you can never place on a black dot in a Sudoku grid. Those are five, seven, and nine. And the reason for that is they've got no partner. A five, uh, if you doubled it, it is 10. If you halved it, it's two two and a half, seven doubled is 14, halved is three and a half, and nine doubled is 18 and halved is four and a half. All of those don't work. And another way to think about that, and this is a way that I often think about it, is you've got the digits, um, anything doubled is going to be an even digit. So every um, what you have to do is you have to work with the even digits you have to available, um, have available and their halves. So the digits you have are two and one, four and two, six and three, and eight and four. None of those are five, seven, or nine. So the digits here are five, seven, and nine. Now, you can never put nine between two white dots, because if you do, then one of them has to be a 10, because the digits that are consecutive are eight and 10. So that doesn't work. Now, the question is, which one of these two is the nine? Well, if you put a nine, um, this is going to be a chain of consecutive digits, because it just has to be. Once you start working down a run of white dots, um, it would have to be, if this went, um, it's just the way the consecutive dots work because you can't repeat any digits here. So let's say, for example, let's as an, uh, an example of that is if this was a two and I went to one here, what could I go to here? This would go two, one, and then this would have to be consecutive with one, but couldn't be a two. And even if this was four, three, this would have to go down to a two because I couldn't go back up to four. So it always is going to be a run of digits. Now, if this is a nine, this would go eight, seven, six, five, and I've put a five on a black dot, which doesn't work. So this can't be the nine, and then this becomes the nine. Okay, now we've got a five and a seven. But because these are five and seven, this has to be consecutive with both five and seven, which makes this the six. Now, because this is a six, and this is a run, if I was to go, five, six, seven, I would end up going eight, nine, and I've run out of room. It just doesn't work. So this has to go seven, and then I start my run. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and this becomes the eight, and that is the solution to this problem. There's a couple of different ways to look at it, but what I wanted to show here are the fundamentals that are involved with solving this problem. You can prob there, there's, as I said, there are different ways to look at it that are probably faster, but showing the exact details of all of the tricks that are involved, um, and if you're more experienced, you probably don't need all of those tricks, um, I think is important to this series. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series and as always, good luck with your solving.